I'm Lynn Dane, and this is my shop. Not only do we sell this product, but we live this life. You never know what we're going to be doing next or where we're going to be, but we're always having fun. I'm Brom Wilson. I produce this show. I try to get you all the great action shots without getting random. Together we are right into you. So today we're loaded up guys and we're headed to Little Sahara. It's just about three quarters of the way through Oklahoma. It's all sand dunes. We got the whole game together. All the machines are strapped down and we're getting ready to go, except we're still missing Braun like always. So anyway, we're throwing some special extras into this this week. We're excited. We haven't played in the dunes and we are... No words. No words. What are you doing? You ain't getting Red Bull either. We're getting ready to take off. We're going to take you guys for a quick ride around the park and go show you some of it. We're going to do this right at TV style. Let's do this. Do it. to install a new stereo top on this Maverick. John from MTA, a good friend of ours, is shipping us over a new top right now. We're expecting it here any minute. It's gonna be smooth. It's gonna have an Alpine stereo built-in light bar, Bluetooth connection. So all of this is gonna disappear and it's gonna go all one smooth, clean unit. 
Let's get this thing done. You ready to roll it? Yeah. I'm John Michael with MTA. I just showed up at the Ryder Crew with a new stereo top. It's a complete fiberglass, all-inclusive top, with an Alpine system and rock and Fosgate speakers. This thing is top of the line, nothing like it. Can't wait to get it installed. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove the old light bar, get the light bar out, go ahead and take the top off. And we'll we did the right. mass of stereo bar running through here. We're going to get that out of it. So we'll get all this lifted out and get it out, get all the wiring out and get it cleaned up. Hold that. Stereo up. That thing's cool, John. Isn't that nice? That complete <laughs> scoop up there is awesome. You have all fiberglass. All lights. Has four 20 watt LED lights up front. Two pair of Rockford Fosgate 6x9. Wow. All your switches are built in overhead. Is this a dome light? Yeah, yeah it's an all LED dome light strip. There's a rear light here too, 20 Back. watt LED backup light. Well, that's just way cool. It's so clean. Yeah. Let's get this thing put on. Let's do it. There we go. Yeah, it's really easy to install. I right, just got the new stereo top installed from MTA. Awesome product. You got dome lights yeah. built into it, backup lights built into it. With one switch, your dome light comes on. Stereo is built into it, all on a switch. Front light bars are on. Put your power. It also Bluetooth sends in there, so you can put your phone in your pocket. Good. You guys happy with it? It's awesome. We love it. We're ready to go out and play with it. Will it come with a full one year warranty? Not bad. Very good. I like how it just flows with things. Just it's the right texture, the right finish. Yeah, everything's all in one piece. Just set it on there. Two wires to the battery. You're installed and ready to go. So easy a nine year old to do. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy your new top. <laughs> so we got everybody here, got the flags on, we're about ready to hit the road, get out on the dunes, and uh, we just discovered something that forgot goggles. We're going to need those in the sand. So we're going to have to do it with sunglasses. There's a pair in the mask. Oh, I know where they are. <laughs> just gotten into the sand and we're doing an interview and I look over and bam Colton's laying over on his side <laughs> and everybody within eyesight just beelined it straight there oh. what happened that was awesome. that you all right We're on top of the hill doing an interview and we looked down the sand dune and there Colton is laying on the side. So we ran down and stood him back up. How was that Colton? Fun. It's fun Cohen? Yes. He put you in the sand, didn't he? Underneath. Good part about the sand is it's a soft landing. Let's get back out there and play. Yeah. Lynn has been hogging the Maverick all day. Once we found out Colton and Cohen was uh, okay, I seized the opportunity to jump in the Maverick and have a little fun of my own. So we're out 
there in the sand. Brom just took over the Maverick, and he's out there trying to crest some of the dunes, and he's doing a pretty good job, and then Tiffany shows up. Then Tiffany shows up. I'm Tiffany, and I'm gonna go jump my Maverick for the first time. Well, broke the axle out there and there's the What'd you do? <laughs> I broke it. I broke it bad. High five. <laughs> About time. Got some air though. Oh my gosh. And a break. Awesome. Caliper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had to put a belt on. Uh, What'd she do? <laughs> well, let's get it. Been in somebody was that last one. Oh, okay. I just got shot up by a girl. But. <laughs> I didn't have, if I would have had one more try, I could have, uh, whatever. You want to sell it? <laughs> well, the reason she out jumped me is, uh, for one, I got taller tires, more weight, so it's not physically possible for me to jump as high as that. And now her machine is broke, so I can't duplicate it on that one, so. I'm just have to take my word for it. Kind of. Tiffany was doing 7,500 foot doubles and broken axle. Okay, there were 75 foot jumps, but. It happens. We get her drug home. Unfortunately, she's probably done playing for. But that doesn't mean we are. Let's ride it. I'm ready to go back out. After lunch. After lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lots of fun. Lots of broken toys, no broken people, so we're good. <laughs> so, we're getting ready to go take the little dirt bikes out and dive off the top of one of the tallest dunes we can find out there. There's a 90 that's itty bitty. <laughs> and there's a 110 that's prom size. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to do paper, rock, scissors to see who has to ride the itty bitty one off. So, the winner gets the big bike. The loser is going to die. <laughs> <laughs> so, this isn't best out of three. This is a uh, winner. I, I'm going to call dynamite. <laughs> paper, rock, scissors. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> if you're looking to play on the road or off the road or even in the water, Pitbull has you covered. We have a complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATVs, as well as Can-Am spiders and all the parts and accessories. With industry-leading performance, Sea-Doo is the way to go when it comes to water sports. Come in today and see us at Pitbull Power Sports in Springfield, Missouri. 1332 North Glenstone. Coming to Pitbull Power Sports. Live the life. MTA is not only one of the leading distributors, but it's your way to totally customize your ride and release the beast. Doesn't matter whether you're just looking for more horsepower, more suspension travel, or bigger wheels and tires, STI has got you covered. Whether you're out on the street, you're in the sand, or you're hitting the rocks and the mud, MTA has got our back. I'm Lynn Damus with Pitbull Power Sports and Ride It TV. We trust MTA and STI with all of our off-road needs from the trails to the street. They've got us covered. We're here at Little Sahara State Park and we're getting ready to haul these two little dirt bikes to the top of the tallest sand dune and race to the bottom. 
15 minutes this is going down, the sun's going down, we're hauling them out, stay tuned. Tim thinks he won the bet, but I got the little bike, I'm going to be closer to the ground, I'm going to win this race. I got the big bike, I am going to smoke Grom, leave him in my dust. Lynn doesn't even know the thunderstorm I'm bringing. Brom doesn't know it yet, but I shut his fuel off. <laughs> standing on top of the tallest dune in Little Sahara State Park. We had to haul our bikes to the top because they wouldn't make it to the top. Brom got the little one. I get the slightly bigger one. I'll submit. But I'm closer to the ground. You have a higher center of gravity. You're going down. <laughs> Once we start off this, no turning back. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. Alright, everybody should be good. We're at the starting line, Laramie gives us a go, I hit the gas, and it just dies. Yeah. What'd you do? You sabotaged me, didn't you? I knew it. I won that race. You sabotaged me. You didn't turn your fuel on. No. No. I'm surprised they made it that far. <laughs> well, I'm sure they were laying back. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, they know if that front tire was the same. <laughs> so, the race was to the bottom of the hill? Where is the bottom of the hill, though? Did you draw At a line? the bottom. The bottom. There it goes down, and then it starts to go up. It's pretty clearly drawn. You have this line of Mavericks. That was the finish line to me. That was the audience. Do you want to race into the grandstands? <laughs> Finish line's right here. <laughs> Bike and rider. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Finish line. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 I win. Riding skills, <laughs> quickness to uh, dangers and <laughs> reacting. But all in all, just uh, pure skill. <laughs> Woo! So, here at Little Sahara Desert, I won the big no, top No, 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 no. Mechanical failure. Brent I choked Brent. out. I didn't get to go. I'll you fly. choked out, all right. I won my $5 fair and square. Thank this you, isn't sir. This is over. Rematch over. tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. Be here. I already won the money. See? One, two, three. This is four dollars, bro. This is not That's over. That's four dollars, bro. Not over. I want my other dollar. That's my <laughs> I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> 
just about to wrap up the night. We're gonna go back, sit around the fire, relax a little bit. It's been an awesome day here at Little Sahara. And tomorrow, rematch with Lynn. Back at the campsite, fire kicking back, having some fun, getting ready to load up, head home in the morning, get a chance to go to Little Sahara. It is a blast. Make the trip out. It's worth the time. So I got to the Little Sahara last night. I drove the entire way without any help from... Get a little close up there, bro. Without any help from this guy, he thinks he's just a professional cameraman. I'm out. <laughs> we took our new Outback Maxes to the sand dunes out here in Little Sahara. I gotta say, take three. What about the camera guy? Do we have a camera guy? I got you something wrong. So, Rob and I determined we're going to be doing a lot of stuff on water this year, so we're going to have to look good. Exercising and eating right is a lot of work, so I determined rather than do that, I'm just going to fatten Rob up so I'll look skinny next to him. Here, Rob, here's your soda.